Today, we are going to discuss our analog clock and talk about half an hour. The little hand always points to the first digit, so it is 12, and the six represents half an hour, or 1230. We can also count, just like we did before with our um, 15, if we count from starting at zero here all the way down, it's 30. So, or we can count by five, so just five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if our little hand is pointed to the 12 and our long hand is pointed to the six, it is 1230. Can you say 1230? Great job. If our little hand is pointed to the one and our long hand is pointed to the six, what time is it? It is 30. Awesome, it is 1.30. If the, two, the long hand is pointed to the six and the short hand is pointed to the two, what time is it? You tell me. Fantastic job. If the short hand is pointed to the three and the long hand is pointed to the six, it is, I'll help you, three. What's the second one? It is three. Great job, three thirty. Good job. Okay, you do this one. If the short hand is pointed to the four and the long hand is pointed to the six, what time is it? Great job. If the long hand is pointed to the six and the short hand is pointed to the five, what time is it? You got this. Great job. When the short hand is pointed to the six and the long hand is pointed to the six, it gets a little complicated. But just like we did with the 12 earlier, it is the same. So if the long hand is pointed to the six and the short hand is pointed to the six, it is six because the short hand is pointed to it and the long hand is on it. So it is just like we counted before. We count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It is 630. Can you say 630? Great job. If the long hand is pointed to the six and the short hand is pointed to the seven, what time is it? You tell me. Good job. If the long hand is pointed to the six and the short hand is pointed to the eight, what time is it? I'll help you. It is this one first. The 30. It is awesome job. If the long hand is pointed to the six and the short hand is pointed to the nine, what time is it? It is, remember this one goes first because it's the short hand. this up a little bit so you can see it is nine great job if the short hand is pointed to the ten and the long hand is pointed to the six what time is it it remember this one goes first and then this one Great job. And if the short hand is pointed to the 11 and the long hand is pointed to the six, what time is it? Remember, this one always goes first. Fantastic job. And now we're back at the 12. 
Remember, you do this one, okay, since we already did it. If the short hand is pointed to the 12 and the long hand is pointed to the 6, what time is it? Great job.